Today, we need to talk about one of the other elements of following your passion or applying your passion or passion in general. And that's just your um, stick to We'll call it that for now. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Yes, indeed. Good morning, America. Good morning, Joe, Catherine, and everyone across the world who is watching the show. Thank you so much for being here this morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And uh, this week we've been talking about passion, which is an extension of the conversation we had last week (laughs) about opportunity. And I got a story to share with you guys this morning. Before we get to that, though, just a quick reminder, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe and Catherine and Jessica have already done. Leave a comment, say hi, and uh, let me know that you were here, that you were watching. And if you happen to be watching or listening anywhere other than on Facebook, awesome. Love you guys, too. But at some point, you got to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join in the conversation with the rest of the folks. So we've been talking about this. Uh, last week we talked about opportunity. This week we've been talking about passion. And yesterday I ran into it headlong. Um, now to, to address a question head on. No, Catherine, it can't be one of your gifts. <laughs> now, so Catherine's question, I honest, I mean, it was kind of funny, but it's kind of true, right? Can being stubborn be one of your gifts? Stubborn, no. I'm going to explain to you, hopefully, I'll be able to explain the difference between persistence and being stubborn. So yesterday I had the opportunity to talk to an entrepreneur. <clears throat> this is somebody who's started several businesses over the course of their life, and they are now starting another one in the shortened time horizon that they have. They're, they're an experienced human being. We'll call them that. So this particular product, it's an upscale, upscale clothing product that appeals to a certain portion of the population. And he, it, it, he is dead set on a particular distribution method. And and even by his own estimates, that distribution method is not going to get anywhere close to delivering the level of sales that he is looking for. And I said, okay, well, well, how about if you get that product online? It's already got a website. You already buy the product online. Just not driving sales that way. I said, that would be... It'd be pretty easy to get, you know, 100, 200 eyeballs on it a day. And from that, get, you know, five to 10 sales a day. And if you do that, well, now you're doing something. That's 300 units a month. I mean, 3,600 units a year. That's an order of magnitude greater than what his distribution, his desired distribution channel could provide. No, don't want to do it that way. That is stubborn. <laughs> now, there is something to be said for stick to persistence, for sticking with it. Um, and there is also this aspect that we will, we can take feedback from people and, and we have to be intuitive enough to know what's good feedback and what is not. And that's difficult sometimes. Um, but we also have to be open-minded enough to know that while we've got a piece of the idea, we're not, you know, this goes back to gifts and talents, right? We're not gifted and talented well enough to know all of the pieces and to be able to, to 
to do everything. So when someone who is an expert in a different field comes about and, and tries to uh, offer us a suggestion, then we have to be open-minded at least to listen to it and evaluate it. Now, Joe's got a really good point. Is he stubborn or just uncomfortable with the recommendation? Clearly, uh, in this case and in almost all cases, there can be some discomfort with the recommendation. That's, that's not really something I know how to do, so I'm kind of uncomfortable with that. And, and there probably is a good measure of that in this particular case, because in some of the previous businesses, he has built this other, I'll call it more traditional distribution network. Um, and, and so I'm sure there is some discomfort associated with it. But where does growth happen? And growth happens outside our comfort zone, right? So we've got to get uncomfortable sometimes. We've got to do things we've never done in order to have things we've never had. Right? So this is how, this is the message I want you to take away from our conversation today. Yes, passion can make you very persistent about pursuing the outcome. And it should. You may even pursue the outcome when all others bail on you. And that's okay. But be cautious of crossing the stubborn line. If you cross the stubborn line, then you're just then you're just doing it for spite or you know for whatever. You're not doing you're not doing it for a productive purpose. All right. Be cautious and if you can Find someone who is close to you who can point out to you, now are you really, do you really think that's a good idea? Or are you just being stubborn? Mm, I, yeah, so Joe says why he objects may be more important than the decision, than the decision to be stubborn. There's a couple of good things in there, Joe. One is that being stubborn is a decision. We have to decide to do that. I'm not sure that, uh, I'm not sure about why he objects being more important than the decision. Because that would, to me anyway, that would suggest that if I can empirically prove to you that one method is better than the other, you see what I'm saying? I mean, we have a reasonably good idea why he objects. I, you know, that, that's not, it's not what he wants to do. I mean, and we kept coming back to that no matter what we talked about, kept coming back to that topic. Right. So be cautious of the stubborn, uh, of crossing the stubborn line. If you have someone close to you, you can say, Hey, you're being a little stubborn there. That's probably the easiest way to recognize it. We will have a hard time recognizing it ourselves. I have a hard time recognizing it for myself, but other people can see it really well. Catherine says, be determined and persistent in purpose, but flexible to pivot with the curves. And, and this, I think, is the key. Um, but this, I think, is the key. Be determined, be consistent, be persistent in your outcome and be flexible in the execution. That's really where all the magic is going to happen. We are all uncomfortable. It's just some of us have been uncomfortable in our own uncomfortable place, which is safer than the unknown of change. Okay. Yes, I agree with that. Right? Pain of the present is more comfortable than fear of the unknown. And so we just decide to stay where we are. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's Thursday. That's Thankful Thursday. Give me, Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thankful for. As always, I'm thankful for you guys, your contribution, and for you being here. If you have found any value in any of our conversation today or anything we've talked about this week, I would also be thankful if you would share this video with your network. Give it the old thumbs up, the like. Uh, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. And I will be thankful for you. It, uh, just a quick reminder, tomorrow's Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. Go ahead and get your question topic 
or a uh, yeah, question, comment, or topic ready for me to talk about. Try to stump the coach tomorrow. Uh, and for the guys who are watching, it's Mob Friday tomorrow. Don't forget about that. Put that on your calendar. I will be back here straight up 7 o'clock tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a great day.